Induction heating is a process through which we can heat an electrically conductive material by placing it within an alternating magnetic field. In this method, heat is generated by the combined efforts of electromagnetic induction as well as Joule's law of heating. Let's see how this works. An induction heating setup usually contains a work coil which is connected to a high frequency power supply. Now if we place a metallic workpiece within the work coil which is generating high frequency magnetic fields, the magnetic field lines will penetrate through the metal and it will induce eddy currents within it. The natural tendency of these eddy currents is to flow in circular loops within the metal itself. And as they flow against the resistance of the material, they will generate heat due to Joule's heating. This in turn heats up the metal. From this we can observe that the resistance of the metal which we are using plays a major role in the heating process. For example, metals with high resistance like iron will heat up much faster than metals with low resistance like copper and aluminum. Although the quick heating of iron is not only because of its high resistance but also due to another factor known as hysteresis loss. Hysteresis loss usually happens in ferromagnetic materials when they are magnetized and demagnetized. This is because the atoms in a ferromagnetic material combine in groups to form regions called magnetic domains. These magnetic domains are like tiny magnets because they have their own polarity and are affected by any external magnetic field. Now if we apply an external magnetic field, the domains will align with the magnetic field. This happens because the atoms in each domain rearrange themselves so that the domain can align with the magnetic field. And during this process, the friction between the atoms will generate a lot of heat. However, this friction will stop once the domain is aligned with the magnetic field. But an alternating magnetic field changes its polarity continuously. And because of this, there will be constant friction between the atoms. So, the heat due to hysteresis loss as well as the eddy current loss makes the heating process much easier. And it is the reason why ferromagnetic materials are mostly preferred for induction cookers. Hope you liked the video, like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.